First of all, this is Detective Kelly with the Columbus Police Department, mm -hmm. and uh, she actually reached out and uh, contacted us as a group to kind of help out with today. So you want to tell us a little bit about how that like came Absolutely. into play? Um, I happened to be in our property and evidence one day and mm -hmm. saw this gun that was completely crusted over <laughs> and said, what is that? And one of the other detectives said, hey, there's these guys. They dive in the water around Columbus and they found this. They called us. So I went online and mm -hmm. found the video <laughs> and went, hey, I know the officer. Let me contact him and find out uh, who these guys are so yeah, I can get in for touch sure. with you. And got your name and phone number from him and gave so you So it was the gun that we found a few weeks ago in that like urban canal That's and you one. actually saw the gun I saw the gun and then you found us because we were connected because to the gun of that, yes, sir. super okay. cool so because this is an ongoing investigation we can't disclose too much information with you guys but long story short i'll keep it broad an individual was on this bridge and supposedly threw a weapon out into the pond and today we're going to go out there and see if we can actually help locate this missing weapon for the police so since the water conditions aren't the best it's actually really murky we're going to use all our tools to our advantage we have scuba tanks we have metal detectors and also teaming up with tristan and brandon should allow us to have the greatest possibility of finding this lost weapon today and hopefully we can help out with this case so i also brought my trash bag as well if i come across any debris or trash while looking for the gun we'll put it in this bag and we'll throw it away at the end of the dive so i'm gonna test things out real quick i have a rock in my hand and if i was going to throw a gun out in the water i'm gonna see how far i can throw this thing that's going to be our search area so let me go ahead and send it So I just threw a rock out there and it gave me a good little range of how far a person can throw a gun. So what I'm going to do is actually search from a, the tree. It's a little bit further out than the rock I threw and over to the right. So I'm going to start my search right over here, okay. but we should all just kind of branch out in this little gonna go area. I'm going to go shallow. Alright, I'm going to head out this way then. Okay. If he's smart, he would have threw the gun away out there. Yeah, if, if he's smart, we don't know what kind of criminal <laughs> we're dealing with here. Hey, I think I found a pipe. <laughs> So the detectives were kind of vague as far as like where they thought the gun was. They knew it was off the bridge, but it could have been somewhere else. So I was scuba diving with Jake and Brandon and just got really cold. So I decided to come to some shallower water and uh, explore this back little cut, this back little creek, because I think if I was somebody, I wouldn't throw it out there. I would throw it back over here because nobody would think to throw a gun over here. But I haven't found the gun, but I have found this little screwdriver. <laughs> Maybe I could kill Jake with this. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but. I'm just glad to be out of that cold water. I was freezing. So this bridge right here behind me is where the witness said that she saw the person throw the weapon into the pond. We don't even know what side of the bridge the person threw the weapon in from. So I've spent a lot of time searching on the deeper section. And in my opinion, if I was throwing a potential murder weapon or a robbery weapon, I would have threw it out in the pond. But I haven't searched this section right here on my left. This is a little bit more shallow. It's a creek. You know, it could very well be in this little area. So what we're going to do is gear back up, head back out there with my metal detector and see if we can come across this weapon over here in the shallows. Ha <laughs> 
Just right now, it's like the name of the game is covering water, but also like combing through like really slowly as well. So it's like we feel a lot of pressure to cover all this water and cover the area that they said it could potentially be in. But at the same time, we're like looking between every single rock. But I mean, it's super murky. And uh, so there's a lot of stuff fighting against us, but we're going to continue to search. I, I feel confident, man. Like with everything the detectives are saying, I feel like it's here. Uh, now it's just our job to find it. What are you thinking, T? It's cold. Yeah, it's super, really super cold. cold. I got two wetsuits on and I just had to get out for a minute because I was literally like cold to my core and that's not good. So got to get out here, sit in the sun for a minute. <laughs> Laying on the warm <laughs> pavement. What you working with? Uh, I got a whole lot of trash. No gun? <laughs> no gun. Well, I did have one gun. But the stable gun. gun. <laughs> oh man. What's good is that, you know, we have three people covering a lot of ground. But at the same time, we're going over the same area multiple times. So if anybody missed anything, we have two more hands going over the same same stuff. So I don't think I don't think anything's going to slip past us. So for sure, hopefully we can find it. Again, this is information that was given to the police and the detectives that was given to us. So they're here with us, making sure we're you know potentially searching the right locations. But you know whether the information they got was valid or not, you know we don't really know. But if it is, I mean, there's a good chance we're going to find it. This right here is a really cool find though. Brandon found this and I believe this is an old BB gun. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys have an idea, let me know in the comment section below. But right here is a hole and up top there's another hole right there. But it just looks like an old like school pump action BB gun. There's a spring in there too and maybe all the wood kind of fell off. But that's really cool. What if you found a rifle from like maybe a civil war or something and here you are you just wrote it off to be a bb gun like, i'm just like cool yeah, look at this bb gun right here <laughs> could have been old school like civil war era <laughs> that's so terrible that would yeah. be so sad what if <laughs> that'd be a way cooler story I'm a, you know what i'm gonna go with that story it's just an unreal amount of fun. what i'm gonna do here is actually throw this away here in a second but I want to show you guys a couple of my favorite finds. When I found this right here, I thought this was maybe the top of the gun, and I thought I was just about to find it, but it turns out it's just to a stapler gun. Well, but you did find a gun. I did find a gun. We're not leaving empty-handed. <laughs> Brandon actually found a BB gun. I found a stapler gun. Tristan didn't find okay. any gun. <laughs> so this was a really weird find. When I found this at first, I was like, why is this at the bottom of the lake? And why is it so heavy? I opened it up, 
bunch of rocks inside. And I took my metal detector to it. There was nothing metal inside. I think it's actually just a boat anchor. And that's actually pretty smart of people to just put rocks in this and use it as a boat anchor. But kind of cool. I don't know what this is right here. Maybe like it goes to some air conditioned unit. Maybe a... Uh, looks like the back of a TV or back printer Back of a TV or maybe or yeah, a printer. Yeah. yeah, I have no clue. If you guys have an idea, let me know in the comment section. Also found a shoe. This could have been the guy who threw the gun in. Maybe he slipped and the shoe <laughs> came off as he was running away from the police. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> I don't know man, I like, just found a bunch of trash today, you know, that little metal detector, it was a really good idea, but I just came across tons of cans and just debris. Even though we didn't come across the gun today, the detective's going to get more information and give us more of a hot spot to have a, like another search, you know, potentially in the future. So maybe we'll come back out here in a later date and she can kind of like shrink that size of area that we need to search. And I think then we will be able to have a really, really, really good chance of finding this weapon. But even though we didn't come across the gun, we have a ton of trash to throw away. So it's always nice to clean up the local pond. And that's what I kind of focused on today. Let's go ahead and throw this away in a trash can. It's like I'm kind of like Santa, man. Got a bag of gifts. Just a, I got you some stuff, man. I know it's been oh a long day. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Oh We're going home. No. 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 Don't throw me. Don't throw me. Don't throw me. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so the detectives actually just left to go back to their office, but they're going to give us a call very soon. They're going to try to narrow down this search for us. And if we had more of a hot spot zone for us to search and actually look for this weapon, I think we would be way more confident and we would actually find this weapon. But if you guys want to see part two, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. And if you guys are new, subscribe to our YouTube channels. I'm going to put Brandon and Tristan's video that they made today in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, make sure you guys head over and do that.